A gorgeous day at the beach in Long Branch belied a political storm raging between New Jersey and the Trump administration over protecting clean air regulations from looming rollbacks by the EPA. If Trump's EPA strikes those rules, it could mean higher fuel costs and dirtier air for New Jersey residents, according to an environmental coalition. And my understanding is uh, from the environmental groups that are here and that are organizing this event that that could happen as soon as next week. So this event is obviously very uh, timely. It's bad for consumers, it's bad for public health, it's, it's bad for the car industry. Six years ago, the Obama administration set goals for 2025 to cut greenhouse gas emissions by 50 percent and reduce fuel consumption by 40 percent. Car makers were aiming for vehicles that would get 54 and a half miles a gallon. This is part of where you keep the cost down because if you have emissions that are much more efficient, you're not going to have the same prices of gas, the same car prices. We're going to save money in terms of our cars in the long run. And this is about our future, about being able to have cars that we don't have to worry about tailpipe emissions, that we don't have to worry about all the pollution. And so we're here today to tell that fossil fool in the White House, hands off our clean cars. <laughs> 42% of New Jersey's greenhouse gas pollution comes from tailpipes, cars and trucks. The greater New York area, including 13 northern New Jersey counties, ranks 10th worst in the nation for ozone levels this year, according to a recent report. Increased emissions could have a profound impact on health in a state where 600,000 people suffer from asthma. It means that we're going to have more um, asthma attacks, we're going to have more um, premature deaths, we're going to have more strokes, we're going to have more heart disease, we're going to have more emergency room visits. New Jersey's already joined other states to sue the EPA over its plans to weaken rules governing clean air, large polluting trucks, and hydrofluorocarbons, a damaging compound that was restricted for use in aerosols and refrigerants. Advocates called it a state's rights issue, a concept which in the past attracted even some Republican support. New Jersey has joined California and and more than 10 other states to have these clean car standards. It's up to us and it, it, it is right that New Jersey can have stronger standards than the feds. And President Trump is going after us. We're going to come together and stop this. A recent poll shows 74 percent, that's three out of four New Jersey voters, support state government action to reduce air pollution. That'll be one of many issues on the voters' minds when they head to the polls in November. In Long Branch, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.